So we get asked a lot, what do you feed your animals when they are sick? Or what do you feed your animals after you've recently bred them? There's a very specific go-to feed that we make right here on our farm. And we feed our animals every time after they've recently bred and we feed them anytime that they get sick. It has a lot of energy in it, a lot of calories, a pretty decent amount of protein. And the best part is, is it's relatively inexpensive. So I'm gonna take it some time today to talk with you about how you can utilize beet pulp on your farm as a highly nutritious feed source to help your animals out. Stay tuned to find out more. All right, so you are going to love this. You are gonna need one bag of beet pulp. I like to use one and a half pounds of barley. The beet pulp you have to use. The barley is an additive. This is actually our high octane feed additive that we have. And we'll get into why we add this here in a minute. One of these bags of beet pulp at the big box store, it's gonna run you about $19. The good news is, is this 25 pound bag of beet pulp is going to make you almost 180 pounds of feed. Okay, 180 pounds. Now I love to use this stuff right after I've bred my ewes and my does. It gives them some extra vitamin E, it gives them extra calories, it gives them a lot of extra energy. They absolutely love it. It is also awesome, awesome, awesome for their rumen. It's easily digestible for them and has tons of energy in it. It's just this easy. One bag will make about four batches of this. Each batch weighs about 45 pounds. So all I'm going to do is I'm gonna put about six and a half pounds of beet pulp in a five gallon bucket. And I'm just gonna pour this in here. It's a little dusty. Six and a half pounds of beet pulp is gonna fill this thing up about one third of the way. That's our goal here, is we're gonna fill this up about one third of the way. And that's kind of your go-to when you're doing this, no matter what uh, ratio you're mixing it at, you'll wanna fill it up. You'll wanna do about two to one mix of beet pulp and water. So this stuff is extremely dry, extremely dusty. This is a byproduct from when they make, uh, they extract the sugar from beets and this has almost no sugar in it whatsoever and it's completely dehydrated. I'm gonna add my pound and a half of barley. And then the secret ingredient here is going to be our high octane feed additive. So vitamin E, vitamin D, vitamin A and a lot of fat. It is like 99% fat. So I'm just gonna clip the corner off of this here. I'm gonna add that. This is 16 ounces of our high octane feed additive. And then I'm gonna use my spray nozzle. I find the spray nozzle works best. And I'm just gonna fill this thing up with water. Okay, I wanna leave a little bit of head space. So I've got some room to work in here. Basically, you're gonna need to try to stir up everything that's on the bottom. That's why you like to use my stick here and just kind of leverage off the side of the bucket. And you're gonna to wanna to stir everything up. You don't wanna leave it sit in the bottom because what'll happen is, is you'll kind of get it to where it doesn't absorb very well. And once you get it to where you can stir it, just go ahead and stir it up. Scrape the sides just like you're baking a cake here. And I want to mix it up really well. I'm going to add just a little bit more water. And that is it. And now I'm going to let it sit. So what I really like about this is it's kind of the complete package. Beet pulp by itself is okay. The calcium phosphorus ratio in it is fantastic. It's got way more calcium than it's got phosphorus. It has some copper, which is still okay for your sheep. It has some iron, uh, which is good, but it really does not have any vitamin A, vitamin E, or vitamin D. So that's why we're adding that in here uh, with our high octane additive. And that is just going to help supplement this. We find that right after we breed our ewes and our does, having that extra vitamin E and this extra nutrition really helps them. The other thing about the high octane feed additive is some flavoring added to it. It's almost like a butterscotch flavoring. And what that does is it really makes them go after this really hard. So 
This right here will easily feed about 20 of my animals. Got 20 breeding ewes right now down on pasture here on our farm. So we're gonna go down and feed this to them. Now the benefit of this too is you can kind of doctor this up however you want. If you have goats and you wanna add red cell, or if you have some other kind of nutrient drench that you wanna add, or if you have some kind of medication that you wanna to add to make sure that they get it, this is a great way to do this. Now I know right now this looks kind of sloppy, but right here we've actually got a finished product. This has been sitting for about two hours and you can see the stuff is just like oatmeal and they are just going to go bananas for this. So what are you looking at cost-wise out the door? Well, if you purchase the high octane feed additive from us together, you're looking at less than $12 for 45 to 50 pounds of this. And really, you know, you're only gonna need to feed this when they really need that boost or if you've got a sick animal or a down animal, something like that. I don't necessarily feed this every day. When they need a boost, this is, this is about as good as it gets. Plus it's about 10% protein, so that's pretty awesome. So. You know, when you're comparing apples to oranges, when you're comparing feed to other feed, I mean, you're looking at a feed that is this nutritious, this good, uh, and you're less than $12 for 50 pounds of it. I mean, that's much more cost effective than what you're probably gonna find at the big box store. So with that being said, let's do the uh, proof is in the pudding here. Let's head down to the pasture. to give a special shout out to our friend Brian. Brian is our latest supporter on Patreon. People like Brian do their best to help us keep our videos ad free. Uh, we do not have sponsors. Everything that we show you is what we use. We're not getting paid by anyone to show you anything. And the way we keep this going is through viewers like you giving us a thumbs up, following our videos, telling your friends about our videos, and helping us out on Patreon. If you have any questions about supporting our channel, Make sure you contact me. All right, so I did actually weigh this. It came out at 49 pounds. And the sheep already see, if you look over there, you can see they're coming. So I'm just gonna pour this in here. Yeah, it is a great product. And when you want those leaves and you gotta use your friend, you just use your friend, I guess. That's one way to do it. And as you can see, when the sheep are done, the dogs are more than happy to help them clean up the scraps. All right, so hopefully you found this helpful. I know that you can find bee pulp. Here's the deal. Search around, look for your bee pulp at your local supplier. If you can buy it in bulk, the cheaper you get this stuff, the cheaper it's gonna be for you. This is a really, really good feed uh, that you can give to definitely give your animals a boost. Like I said, we like to use it right after they've been bred. We also like to use it for anybody that's kind of down and out. Plus it kind of creates this feed that you can add different things to to give to your animals. And as you can see, they really go after that. Now, they do tend to go after it a little bit stronger with the feed additive. Um, and again, you know, our feed additive is adding in that vitamin A, E, and D. All the nutritional values for this feed can be seen in the description below, so make sure that you check that out. I'm Tim from Lanessa Farm Specialty and Heirloom Livestock. Thanks for joining us again today, and I look forward to seeing all of you again next time.